Hello everyone, I am Sophie Proust, the Atos Group Chief Technology Officer. I am an engineer and I have an R&D background. I'm driving the technology and the innovation in Atos. I am also in charge of the expert community and I am a member of the scientific community. I am very happy today to share with you my lecture on the evolution of the technology that is driving the digital transformation of our customers. If we look at the evolution of the IT over the years, from the very first steps of computing in the 60s, you know, with the mainframe and the ability to automate processes for backend treatments, then in the 80s, the PC and internet have connected enterprise, workers, partners, and clients, extending user productivity. The year 2000s have offered seamless digital connectivity with the mobile and cloud era. Now, really digital is going the last mile. It invades things themselves. With the IoT, we are progressively connecting all objects from all sectors, industry, health, transport, as well as end consumers. And you know, this generates an exponential growth of data, which will enable use to sense and measure the real world. That is why we are saying that we have now a digital view of our physical world. And we see an enormous change where now data is really driving business. We can take a few examples with Uber, the first transport company, which doesn't own any cars. Also look at Airbnb, first hospitality provider, doesn't own any real estate. Though of course those B2C platform models are having a hard time due to people's extremely reduced mobility during the lockdown. But the evolution will go more and more towards life itself with neurotechnologies enabling us to have preventive actions. Data is going to drive life. The main drivers of this transformation is technology. And first of all, let's consider computing power, which through cloud is accessible anytime with a pay as you consume model with the promise also to scale. Though Edge and IoT extends the reach and the possibility to have real-time treatment, if we look at, for example, autonomous car use cases, they need immediate treatment, which a back and forth to the cloud wouldn't allow. Video surveillance is another use case which needs real-time treatment. High-performance computing enables very large simulations. Today, we see the use with vaccine discovery, but also for industrial simulation. For example, it prevents manufacturers to design real prototypes. If you look at car crash simulations, for example. Another example of the use of high HPC is on climate evolutions or weather forecast, which requires multiple sources of data and huge background data. Also, as the need of performance grows and the doubling of performance every 18 months will not be possible anymore because of the end of the Moore's law, scientists are looking for alternative technologies. And this is where quantum computing is one of the technology still in research area with great promise in terms of different complex solving problems. The explosion of data generated with, by the new sources coming from IoT or processing, we need even more automation and AI capabilities to reduce the complexity and analyze in real time huge amount of data. Because the rise of the connected things enables a complete reversal of traditional approaches to business. Look for decades, the industrial revolution has enabled to foster growth through automated mass productions. So in our hyper-connected world, where people and things themselves are connected, the perspective are completely turned around. We can move from a traditional produce and sell mode to a sense and response mode centered on the customer. We do more than just produce thousands of objects, hoping that somebody will buy them. We can sense in real time who requires what and produce it accordingly. We are also moving from a mass production mode to a mass customization mode, 
where we can measure and then adapt exactly the delivery to what the end customer wants. Think, for example, of the huge applications such as personalized insurance, utility services in healthcare and in public sectors. And lastly, we move from a product sale to an as a service sales, where we can adapt exactly the service to the customer usage and then mutualize to promise new business models. Think, for example, of the huge applications such as products as a service in manufacturing, retail or transport. And we can move from traditional value chains to brand new ecosystem, which will have enormous impact on business models, but also on business accountability, trust and compliance. This is the full universal that will completely disrupt business ecosystems in the coming years. Given all this wide context and the unique position of Atos as an end-to-end -end service provider, we have aligned our R&D investments around eight strategic technologies. Atos welcomes also graduates with all academic backgrounds for many different roles across the organization. And in this talk, we will focus on some of the more technical disciplines and the university courses that support them. So if we look at the stack where we are putting our portfolio, meaning our offering, we start with the ecosystem of multiple infrastructures, from cloud to distributed intelligence with smart platform. We invest in hybrid cloud, in edge, and in advanced computing technologies. And there, we are leveraging competencies learned in degrees, which includes software development, electronics, mechanics, thermal engineering, ASIC design, and network technologies. If we move up the stack, we are addressing some offering towards smart data platforms and services, from virtual agents to augmented and virtual reality to neuro technologies. We are investing in technologies such as automation, artificial intelligence, and immersive experience. How computing is becoming invisible while supporting what people do at work and at home. And here, we are leveraging competencies learned in mathematics and computer science degrees, such as mathematical models and algorithm for AI and machine learning. If we look at the top of the stack, with the industry specific covered with our modern applications technologies. Here we are leveraging competencies learned in computer science degrees, including the very latest programming languages, CICD, continuous integration and continuous development, DevOps and microservices and observability. This is done with an end to end security we are developing heavily in cybersecurity technologies. And here we are leveraging competencies learned in degrees covering cryptography and AI. We are doing that in a sustainable way with our green IT technologies, enabling our customers to use digital for green in a sustainable economy. We are living a very exciting period where technology is put at the forefront to transform and enable a better future. And a lot of university degrees contribute to such enablement. All the best for all of you in this new digital world. So thank you everyone to have followed my lecture. I did it from my home, and I suppose you're going to listen to it from your home too. So you see, we see that today the digital assets we have are going to transform completely our day-to-day -day life as well as our businesses and this faster than we have ever thought it would have. So all the best for you and your studies and keep safe.